you're doing things in your life and you feel like I love this good so where do you feel the love that's the question the love that you feel lasts for a few minutes <clears throat> lasts for the moment you hugging someone you eating something you are doing something for how long lasts that love that sense of happiness mm -hmm. and and the answer is a stick to the circumstances that allows you to find a state of inner peace that kind of love inner peace that stays with you the whole day and doesn't depend on what other people do or the weather or where do you live or if you have holidays or not or what how much money you get yeah doesn't the power is not outside, it's inside. I know, it's so difficult. Yes, I know, when you find a way to get there, love is beautiful. And that's the way I found my purpose. I used, um, I am an advertising manager. I work in media for 10 years. And I knew I love it, because I love union and stuff. But my happiness in that work will last just moments. Mm -hmm ups and downs, ups and downs, more downs and ups. But when I am doing the past life uh, regression therapy and I'm teaching, I'm happy the whole time. Does not matter if I'm receiving money or not or whatever. Does not, I feel that I'm here with a mission and I'm doing something meaningful and I go to sleep and I feel peace in my heart. And I'm pretty sure many people working as a doctor, gardener, Many people doing things, childcare, they feel like that and they know that's the purpose. And that's the kind of love we are looking for. If I had another mic, I would drop it. Te amo, <laughs> Te amo. that is beautiful. Beautifully explained, but the thing behind it, it was, I got lost in the words, Fl Florence. It wasn't even about you were just in complete flow so your energy answered the question but hopefully people get something from the words as well tangibly and, and we can't pretend coronavirus and COVID-19 and all child trafficking that all these things aren't happening they are happening but I think the job for us as individuals as well is not to deny that but we can't deny our love our fulfillment, our peace, our joy within that stuff as well. We need to continue to stay on path, stay on purpose. And if you don't believe you have a purpose, I would just encourage you to find the things that you love to do for no other reason other than you love them. Start mm -hmm. there and allow that to grow and flow and expand. And I thought it was this, but it's, it's now leading me that way and then going that way. Just allow yourself just to be, because in doing that, we're going to allow human beings to get back to our true essence of who we are. So just now, that bridge, you've spoke about the, the 3D reality and we can see with your beautiful um, banner in the back there, that we spoke about the past life ther therapy, but also the 5D healing. Can you talk a little bit about, well, I think we've spoken great depth and so much gold in this already, so thank you from the, the third dimensional, but we're kind of at this bridge just now of the fourth dimension heading towards the fifth dimensional consciousness. Can you speak a little bit about 4D and 5D and where we're, where we're heading and what, how what we're doing just now is, is playing out for that to take place? So I will uh, tell you how I found the, the fifth dimension, okay? Mm, so please. To keep it simple. <laughs> and... Um, so I was, I am actually writing a book Good. that I haven't finished, still haven't finished. And I started writing the book because I felt like uh, I should feel like writing a book. I felt, I was receiving information in 2011. I start, so I started seeing the aura in 2010, which is the colors around people. Yeah. And the energy that emanates from things and, and people. So in... 2011, 
I and mid 2010, 2011, 2012 were years where I was receiving information all the time, all the time, all the time. And it was a lot of information. I wasn't working doing this. And I had another, another work, another kind of friends. And I haven't had anyone to share the information I was receiving because it was too weird or crazy or I don't know. So I decided to start writing everything, all, all my experiences. And at some stage I asked to my guides, well, what's, what's the meaning of this book? What's the... Um, and they told me is the shift of consciousness in between the third, from the third dimension to the fourth and the fifth dimension. That's why you need to explain the info with, with your experiences. Because I do explain this in the workshops more um a bit more like from theory but uh in in the book i'm explaining this how the whole process you know how i live it as a argentine uh woman <laughs> uh, that i am <laughs> and uh since 2011 that i was 23 from my 23 years old to 33 how i lived as human and um so I was wondering at the very beginning what the fifth dimension is. Beyond all the information that is out there and the information I was receiving, again, from a very the theoretical uh, way to explain it. And, but I wanted to understand how it impacts my daily life, normal, you know, uh, not just to impress others with, with complex words, you know. And then I understood that um, the, when I, I was at the very beginning shifting all the time, I, I wasn't 100% of the time from living my life from, from the 5D consciousness. Our perception of reality is given by our consciousness. We are our consciousness because we are not even the body. If I hurt myself and I don't feel it, because my brain, um, my spine is, is not, not working properly, and then I don't receive the information that I was hurt, I, I'm not even feeling it. Hmm? So we are not this body. This body gives us information, and we are decoding the information all the time with our consciousness, right? And we need, for sure, the brain to be healthy enough to, to have a complete experience in the 3D and be able to interact fully in the 3D with others. So, uh, well, I was shifting all the time. My consciousness was sometimes seeing the aura, perceiving information, and sometimes only seeing the, the, the outside. And um, so when the moments when I will perceive uh, information from people, information that were not given by the people and was not based in my belief system because that wasn't coming from my rational mind, from my lower mind, were coming directly from people when I, I do eye contact or from places that I will visit a place and I will start picking information from the place and maybe the people, the guides in the place, they tell you, oh, this place where, where the people here did this. And, and you're like, no, I'm just picking other information from here. I'm not discussing with the guy, but inside my mind, I'm like, mm, no, I feel like here happens something different. So every time we are connecting with information, we are um, uh, operating from the the consciousness um, be very, uh, from the 4D, 4D consciousness hmm? in the four dimension, which is information. So that was my first stage, picking information, knowing how people live and my intuition take off because I was all the time knowing things. At some stage, I was able to um, move uh, with my consciousness in time and space and that's the first sense that i got from from the fifth dimension 